Did you just start as a YouTube moderator and don't know anything about it? Well, today I am here to show you how to moderate a YouTube live chat. If you don't know me, hi, I'm your favorite moderator. And today, so if you don't know me, hi, I'm your favorite moderator. I do a lot of etiquette, tips, and so much more. So if you like stuff like this, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and click that notification bell so you never miss another video from me. I'm on the way to a thousand subscribers. We're literally like an inch away. So hit that button. It would be great. And without a further ado, let's get into this tutorial. So first up is how to become a moderator in a YouTube chat. Mostly I am mod for my friends that I've met on other platforms already, like Twitter, Twitch, etc. Some have been on Twitch and migrated over to YouTube, or some do both, because now you can multi-stream. Or I literally ask straight up on Twitter if anyone needs a YouTube mod, I am here. Or I'm sure if you hang around in a community for a while and you want to be a mod, you can definitely offer yourself into that position. As a mod, you do not get paid unless it's obviously from like a big streamer that does offer that pay, but most of the time it's just voluntary work. And most of the time you're going to have another platform to communicate with the streamer or the mod team. A lot of people use Discord, some people use Twitter DMs, hell you can even use your business email. Remember when YouTube DMs were a thing? That's a blast from the past. I'm not going to go through how to add a moderator as a streamer, but if you want to know, I will link a video right up here. So this is my friend Grantis. Everyone say hi Grantis, hi Grantis. So finally got mod in his chat so I can do a little thing for you. So it's going to give a little photo that I'm going to show on the screen once you first get moderated. And it says, now you're a standard moderator for this channel. The creator trusts you to help them build a positive and safe community. And then it tells you a little bit of stuff that you can do. So this chat is like auto mod kind of some messages if they have like blocked terms or something really suspicious, it will be held for review. Now Debbie, what the heck does that mean? It basically means you can either approve or deny a message. Say someone says the F word. Some streamers allow that and some don't. So you can either approve or deny based on the channel rules. Now say if the streamer does not have any block terms and it comes to like a really, really bad situation, you can hold your alt button. And if you hover over the chat, you can find these little mod icons down here that I like to call them. This is a remove button so you could delete the message altogether. You can put a user timeout, which I believe the default is five minutes, and you can hide a user from the channel. That means basically a block button. But yes, the timeout is believe five minutes. I'm not 100% sure on that. I did have to do a little Google search. Or if you don't trust your alt button for whatever reason, if you go to the chat message and press the three dots, it will be go to channel activity. You can go to person channel, you report the message or report the channel. You can remove the message, put the user timeout, or hide the user from the channel. So I'm going to do this on myself. I'm going to go to channel activity and this will bring up the person's profile. So obviously I am a mod. It will say how many subscribers I have and how long I've had my YouTube account. So obviously I'm a mod for this channel. So obviously I'm not going to have a lot of like deletes, timeouts and hides, but I have zero hides, zero timeouts and zero deleted messages. That means that none of my messages were deleted. I have no timeouts and I was not hidden from this channel. I believe you can unhide somebody if you really, really wanted to. Again, it's like a ban button. And this is chat messages in the last year. So obviously it's the stream and I have not chatted this year. So it's like, oop, I'm not a mod. Ah. And then it's like, hee hee, he's now a mod. And as you can see, you go from the change of just a normal viewer to a moderator. And this is the little moderator badge. It's just like a little wrench kind of thing. And if you press the three dots right up there, uh, you can actually go to this person's channel I'm just gonna open another tab so I show you that it actually works. Here it is right there. And you can hit the X button to just get rid of the chat altogether. So once you join a chat, it will have the little welcome to live chat. Here's our community guidelines. If you press it, um, it will bring you to a little TOS type thing to be careful in. And I don't believe that goes away, but you can also see the past of the chat as well. So yeah, there's not a lot that you can do with YouTube moderation right now. I think if the chat was a tiny bit bigger, that would be great. I think I'm going to do another video of what I want from YouTube to have in like the little moderation settings. I think that'll be quite cool. But for now, that is it. If you want to check out a video about YouTube monetization, you can click right up here. And for now, I'll see you guys later. Bye.